Hey everyone, welcome to today's show. We have Amo Kanika, a Thai VizDev artist with us. She has worked with companies like Monk Studio, Studio Hun, whom we have interviewed the uh, founder before, Vic. And she's currently running her own practice for four years right now as a freelance VizDev artist and slash concept artist. So some of her notable projects include the number one Thai mobile game, which is Coin Master, where she did some of the character paintings and some of the background paintings as well. So in the AAA uh, context, right, for those of you guys who are looking forward to PlayStation 5, she has also worked on some scene designs and environment designs in Kena Bridge of Spirits. And, you know, being a VizDev artist, she has worked on uh, as a color scripter for various US-based and Canada-based companies. Um, and also has contributed to one of the Thai feature films called Seven Chicks. So she'll be sharing with us today how to take a painting from conception, I, and from the conception and ideation stage, all the way right up to completion. So she'll share how to pick the right references, what is her process like for picking colors, and how she finishes her paintings. Without further ado, let's welcome Amo Karika. Hello. Thank you so much for having me today. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. It's it's great to have artists in the region. So I'm just really happy that you could join us today and being so generous to share your knowledge with uh, some of the guys who are watching here. So I hope um, more people will come and watch, especially even even people from Thailand, you know, so you can get connected with other other um, aspiring artists and experienced designers and whatnot to, to network and to, you know, grow our creative network in Southeast Asia. So yeah, thank you for coming on to the show. Thank you, Sue, of course. <laughs> so how, how are you feeling this week? Um, feeling doing pretty good. Um, I'm really enjoy with my current reach off so much, you know. Um, you know, can manage my time because I'm working at home, you know, as a freelance, so I can manage time to um do like professional job. I have time to practice, I have time to exercise and cooking. So my life currently is really happy. It sounds like a perfect <laughs> life, right? <laughs> you can get to do your stuff that you like and you still can cook and can exercise. Wow. I, I would, great. I would say no, it's it's not perfect. It's it's not just like that, but maybe sometime um I'm a little bit strained. But you know, um you should be like positive thinking and it will be good, everything, you know. Mm, mm. And saying positive is so important, especially in this time. So, yeah, it's great to have uh, positive uh, artists like you to come onto the show <laughs> and share, um, you know, with us some of your some of your techniques and some of your processes for how can uh, you know a young artist or maybe even experienced artists, right, um, learn or, or figure out how you get the right references. So, um, yeah, do you have any thoughts about how about how artists get references um, for for their art? Um, what, what do you think are the common mistakes, you know, artists, young I think, artists do? Uh, I think, um, you know, big problem that I talk with the beginner artists almost, it's kind of like, they don't, they don't research, you know. I, I don't know why, but maybe I always research because, you know, um, my experience work for three years, I always work at animation and games industry. And, you know, when you work, when you work with animation process, the reference is very important. You can see like um, the animation story have a lot of research before before they make the story, also game. So when you want to research something, maybe it's just like a some prop for animation. So a uh, reference is really important to do. You can like I want I want to use this color because I just want to use it. It can you you can do like that. Everything is maybe not. Uh, maybe like should have the uh, reason, you know. So I think that is a problem for um, with 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 artists for beginner. So I I think today I I wanna share how to how cry how I like uh, pick up the reference how I use the reference and apply reference in my painting. Yep, maybe help helpful the beginner artist something. Yep. Yeah, definitely. I think that would definitely help. Like younger artists and even experienced artists, right, to see if there are any different ways where you know, 
some of some of us use keywords a lot. I mean, I myself like pick keywords, so I'm I'm curious to see how artists figure out what are the keywords they use on Google. Um, so yeah, that that will be one thing that I'll, I'll be interested to see. You know how how you process um, searching for mm-hmm. the right references because. Um, like Aman Serrano says, right? Every artist, their secret weapon really lies in the references that they use, right? Because all things being equal, mm-hmm. it's the references that will determine, you know, how different and unique the artwork can be, right? Mm-hmm. I I don't know. Um, I don't know for the other people, but for me, in my opinion, I think, um, before research, the friend, the first thing that should that should like take important is concept design you know um when you want to like painting something maybe just for fun or just relaxing painting i think we should have some key message that you want to say the world you want you want to say the audience uh what do you want to do what do you interested or you know what the key message for me when you have the concept or storytelling or some keyword, you know, like I will example my artwork, work, um, like a personal project about Thai ceremony. I have Thai ceremony that is a keyword for me. And I want to share a moment about Buddhist ordination. So when I got the key message like Buddhist ordination, so, and then I search about Buddhist ordination, all of, all of them to, you know, to look how it's possible that I can create something. So I, I research a lot of pictures about Buddhist ordination and see how can I pick some idea from the reference to in my painting, like we can mix or, you know, um, I would say like, but the first thing that we should, uh, for me, the first thing that I'm looking for for the reference stuff is kind of like a uh, composition. You know, because when I want to tell some story, the composition is really important to 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 can represent my idea. You know, like um, uh, I have the idea about I want to share link about my a little adorable moment in the activity in uh, Buddhist ordination, like uh, it it called maybe like um the flower. I don't know if you understand that it uh the flower is kind of like the luck gift you know and mm-hmm. there's the flower i don't know that uh how to make it but maybe from the paper something but inside have a coin oh yeah inside so that's, a, a, that's that's a nice way of giving arms to the monk right when yeah, he's yeah, yeah. in his ordination wow yeah what's yeah, the yeah. what's the meaning behind it though i think maybe maybe like gifting I don't know. <laughs> the new monk like give them something like bad luck for the guests who join who join this ceremony and everyone want it, you know. It's maybe just like a, a little money, like ten baht, one baht, but that is uh make everyone in the ceremony happy when get it. So I think this moment really adorable and I I think it's different from um different from other culture. So I want to share this this thing. So I research a lot of the, this moment and find the, you know, find the best photo that I think perfect for my idea, because I want to sharing about. Uh, I want to share the facial of the character on the on the scene, you know, and like happy share, you know, share positive thinking, share positive energy to every people that who see my artwork. So I should like. A uh, composition like middle shot, not not too but not too long shot or landscape too much because they can you know express can show the facial design of the character yeah and the audience can see it. Wow! So so by deciding on the emotion that you wanted to capture, which is in mm. this case, which is you want to capture the joy of mm. the uh, Buddhist yep. uh, monk's ordination. Uh, yeah. You actually chose your camera angle or your, your the size of the shot as well, which is what you said, right? The mid shot because you wanted to see the facial expressions of yeah. the character, right? Wow, yeah. that's that's interesting. So you, you really are processing all this. Uh, how do you process it? Do you write it down or do you just think in your head and you know all of a sudden you just like okay, I know what to search for. How how is um, it like for you? Actually, I I have in my mind. <laughs> ah, okay. So you're one of those artists that okay, everything is here. You think it through. You sort it out. And then yeah, 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 yeah. You start searching I, on the web. 
Yeah, yeah. I I have some memory in my mind that I I want I want to show some something like this anchor something like have a temple behind your your people, you know, and and you know, and then when I got the composition that I think is perfect for me, the the second thing that I'm looking for is about the character, you know, because because the character is really important to you know to express the emotion, the activity. So I. I mix a lot of photo that have the people. But maybe I would say like I like the man for this painting, but I like this girl for this photo. I like the kids from this photo, and I mix together in my painting like that. So it's not just like one or two photo. It's a whole variety yep. of photographs, like, and you look very specifically. Like maybe it's this expression, maybe it's this boy or this girl or this man or this woman, and then yep. you try to kind of like. Put them all into your composition and make it work within the final composition that you have, right? Yes, yes, yeah, like that. And the second, uh, next step, uh, you know, when you have like um set like position of the character already, and maybe I find some item, find some uh, you know, find some idea that interested me and inter interactive me. Like, uh, I like the red umbrella, the big red umbrella for the new monk, and I like it. I think that is the uh, maybe I can make that. Uh, like your focal point of my painting because it have a red color, you know, um, and red color have like high saturation. It may be help to look at the focal point of the main monk. So I find some prop that I interested and add it to, yeah. And the next step when I you know like I have a composition that I okay that is perfect. I looking for the color scheme. Yeah, and the color scheme um form you know form a lot of stuff that I have before. Um, I have, I have a little bit trick for for the big for the artist who like can figure out about how to use the, how to use the color. Um, I want to share you. Um, for me, when I when I look a photo, I don't I maybe look like close my eye a little bit, you know, and then the picture like. Blur, you know, stuff will be blur a little bit. So when it's blur, we can see like uh the some color screen that insulated because when blur, uh, the detail is lost, you know. Mm -hmm. And I I see uh I seen uh many people do like that, but they don't close my eye like me. <laughs> they they use like filter carefully and make it blur and see some color scheme that insulating. Ah, yeah. so so instead of squinting eyes, you use the, I don't know, is it Gaussian blur that you use or, or, or blur to just really just kind of like uh, zoom out, right? I mean, squinting yeah. is just a way of zooming out, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Some kind so of instead of instead of doing that, they they use some sort of filter on in Photoshop to help them to kind of like compress all the colors and see like what the dominant colors that I play. For is me, it's just it's just manual, just close. My eye, at least. Oh, you still prefer okay. the, old, the, 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 the proper way, the, the artsy way, which is to squint your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I always do like that. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Got it, mm. got it. Yeah, that's very helpful. Yep. And, yeah. and then. Ah. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. And then I, I interested some photo that I, I will share you. Um, I like this color scheme from this uh, reference because it's behind that have like beautiful tem temple that have like um, beautiful petal, um, petal on the wall, you know, and have color scheme like blue one, green and red. And I think three, three color this, oh, really interesting me. And um, I want to you not know, like add a little bit yellow in my painting to make it like more, more attractive. I, I, I like this color scheme. So, you know, and then I go to the, uh, the next step is like sketch, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. that, and that's, that's, you're deciding on the color scheme before you actually sketch them. Yeah, I, because because I I have a passionate about color, you know. So mm -hmm. I think I think about the color all the time. I think about the color before I suggest anything. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Oh, wow, that's that's yeah, really yeah, interesting. Because yeah, I work yeah. I work differently. I would I would think of the scene first. I would draw everything, and because I color is really not my thing, not my main specialty. All right, it's not my one of my biggest strengths. That'll be one of the last things that I figure out. 
<laughs> I, I I think uh it's up to up to how you how you have passion up to the person. Some person focus about the uh, compose, you know, like uh perspective, something. Some some artists focus on the architecture, you know, mm-hmm. like have detail, a lot of detail, the gorgeous detail. But some artists focus for about just about character design and maybe the background can blur or really low detail or something like that. Mm, mm-hmm. So it really depends on our individual specialties and mm. what the areas that we are good at, right? Yep. So in yep. your case, because you you really love colors and you have been doing color scripting, right? yep, and yep, you think yep. of colors first, which is a yes. natural, natural thing. Yeah? Okay. Yes, first priority for me. Then <laughs> <laughs> do some painting. Color come first. <laughs> color always comes first for you. Yeah, always, always. Right, but how how do you come up with a color scheme? Like previously, you mentioned you you were thinking that hey, you like RGB, you know, red, mm. green, blue, and then you were mm. thinking of yellow. Mm. How did you make your mind around that? You know, how um, did you come to that decision? Maybe kind of like uh, you know, like maybe think about the part of the character. Like uh, I would say, like maybe blue. 50 minutes, uh, 50 person, uh, green 20 person, and you know, uh, red 10 person, and yellow 5 person, something like that. It's it kind of like you can apply from the color theory, you know, if you can, if you maybe study color theory before, you can you can adapt from the theory in your painting, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you even think you break it down to percentage and and yeah, yeah, track, yeah. right. Yeah, break it, yeah, break it down. Wow, okay. That's really, really cool. That's really, really cool. That's a really oh. different approach from, uh, you know, um, some other art- artists that I've seen and uh, that I've learned from. Very oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, one, one way I've, uh, I've learned is always to have, like, you know, you prepare a color scheme and then you break it down and you make it into some sort of a bar, right? So it's like maybe if it's 50% in that bar, 50% will be this color, 30% of this color will be all in a bar. So it's like a representation of, all the colors um, that I want to use. To you, be honest, like okay, okay. To be honest, I I didn't do like that. It's, do it's, like that. It's, it's, it's it's all in my head, but <laughs> but but I will do like that, especially when I want to share with other people to get me to get my idea. But mm-hmm. but for me, before start work, I I didn't I didn't do like that. Like okay, uh, make a bar, make a. Person, do, 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 do. no, I didn't do it like that. It's all, mm-hmm. all in my head. I, I just mm-hmm. do because I want to explain other people, like mm-hmm. understand me, you know. Mm-hmm. 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 So when, when you visualize a picture, you already kind of like know um, what are the colors that you can see in the painting already, right? Yep. Ah, okay. So you think about like how the final painting will look like already and then you just break down yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in your head according yeah, 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 to how, yeah. how you see it. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Okay. So you're a very intuitive um, kind of artist, right? I would say mm-hmm. because everything is mm-hmm. more or less, you already have it in your, in your imagination already. I, I think out to the person too. I don't I don't know other people, what, what they do, but some people that I know do like me. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, yeah. There, there, there are some that are more methodical and logical, so they will do it. You know, they really mm. break it down, right? Mm. Let them see it because they cannot visualize it. Like for me, I would need to do that because I'm not that good at seeing colors right away. Mm. So uh, yeah, I'll probably need to do that. But uh, I'm just like, yeah, very, very, it's interesting to know that you really have all these processes in your head already worked out mm. when mm. you when you are painting it. So that's that's very insightful, yeah. Thank you so much. But, uh, it's but, mean, but it's, it, just, it doesn't mean it's better more than plan, you know. Maybe mm-hmm. plan is better. It's, it's up to situation, I think. Maybe I plan. Mm-hmm. Almost not plan. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it doesn't mean that it's better or worse. It's just yeah. a different way of processing uh, because yeah. we all have our unique life experiences and, you know, we all process information in our own unique ways. So... It's okay. Right. Everyone has a different way of doing it. Find find a technique that works best mm. for yourself. Mm. Okay, I I will share uh, about the next step after you know after sketch. Uh, I would say like almost at this you know doing well in the sketch. Um, you know 
some some artists like skates like really have detail um but for me i i tell the ball with that <laughs> i i i'm not doing well in like skates because i i think it's 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 hard and west harm me i i just you know my skate is that like really loud you know i just i uh, said about the uh, okay this is a building it is a position of the character it is position of the vocal background something as you know you can see that really really loud <laughs> kind of like you you can you can imagine that what do you do a more something like that <laughs> but 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 i i know what what i want to do but uh i will take a take time for long um for the next step is like a uh, local color Be, you know because i'm just uh suggest very really loud so i take time too much for the local color i always yeah like use the lasso to create the shape you know because shape language is really important for me and i think uh, when i do the silhouette is really quickly and you can see the you know you can see the uh, the pose that is clear or not or something and you know and for my colors for my local color i try to you know like put some color and light together uh, i mean light and shadow on there kind of like the when the crowd the crowded day you know no have like direct light before just like um detail of the local color that have like a facial design hair um detail of the prop detail of the clothes and everything like like i would say like if we have you know really good bed you know uh, it will be helpful and comfortable when we will like uh, add the direct light or adjustment in the next step Thank <laughs> you.